Restaurants in San Diego finding new ways to attract customers as inflation sends prices sky high. This is more San Diegans are choosing to stay home and cook as opposed to grabbing a bite to eat while out. Our Kasha Gugorczyk joins us live from Little Italy with more on that. Kasha. Well, it has been common to hear about businesses across the board raising prices to keep up with inflation, or you see those extra fees tacked onto your restaurant tab to help with wages. But a new restaurant here in Little Italy that just opened says they are intentionally trying to keep prices more reasonable, and they are not the only restaurant trying new ways to keep attracting customers. San Diego's dining scene is competitive, but a new restaurant in Little Italy is going in a different direction to catch the customer's attention. Decide to make it a little more elegant and uh, but at the same time very affordable. The Heights is currently in its soft opening stage. The food and the ambiance might make you believe your check would be big here, but the owners are hoping to capture a consistent clientele. Everybody kind of afraid to spend that much money for dining, and especially in this area, everybody likes to go out almost every night. They've intentionally priced items about 20% below average for comparable spots. So we want them to feel comfortable to come back and back. Other restaurants are also starting to see they may have to work harder to keep business booming. Anywhere between 8% to 25% a drop in restaurant spending. Sarah Argemond helps manage more than 20 restaurants throughout San Diego, doing everything from discounts to extended happy hour. Everyone is getting creative to get the customers in the door and have them keep coming back. Restaurants had higher costs and so they raised prices. The latest report uh, by the Bureau of Labor Statistics showed that the, the price of restaurant meals are up almost 8 percent. Professor of economics at University of San Diego, Alan Jin, says while the economy is still holding up, several factors have contributed to a slow in spending. But they don't have that uh, COVID piggy bank anymore. An increase in prices, inflation has, uh, has increased, and as a result of that, people are having to spend more on housing and other, uh, and other items, and so they have less discretionary income. So something else interesting we learned this evening is usually around Comic-Con time, there are special menus down in the gas lamp, which also usually means special prices, a lot of times higher prices. But this year, we are hearing that really across the board, restaurants are more erring on the side of offering discounts for anyone coming to Comic-Con as long as you show that badge. So just another incentive to dine here downtown. Reporting from Little Italy, Kasia Gregorczyk, Fox 5 News.